Welcome back in business tonight. The chief executive officer Stanbic Bank Uganda and Juko says the bank has registered one trillion in gross revenue and a profit after taxes of 366 billion in the year 2022. As Victor Taeba reports, she attributes this to the multiple bank channels and a flexi pay that covers over one million customers. This as she unveiled the 2022 annual results for Stanbic Holding Limited. While financial institutions are facing insurmountable challenges, like the exit of the Silicon Valley Bank and some being on the verge, here at home, some banks are defying the odds. According to the annual report of the Stanby Callings for the year 2022, the performance continues to be underpinned by the banking subsidiary, which posted strong results across all key performance indicators. The bank's chief executive, Andrew Koh, says the bank registered a 30% increase in the volume of transactions compared to the year 2021, which indicates an upward trajectory to the economic recovery. Proud as an organization to be releasing a record result where we crossed the one trillion mark in revenues and uh, a record profit after tax number of 366 billion. This result is multifaceted because uh, it is born out of a diversified income stream. The split between funded and non-funded is nearly 50-50. But also more importantly, this is not just about the financial number. We also take the time to share with you our contribution to the economy as a whole. She adds that the bank remains committed to driving sustainable shared value that is equitable and inclusive through firm focus on financial inclusion. More than that, we've also participated in financial inclusion programs such as our, our now flagship circle program, our FlexiPay program, our Stand Big For Her initiative, which is a women empowerment initiative, uh, among others. The chief executive Stand Big Holdings Limited, Andrew Mashanda, said the bank closed the year with a strong performance and delivered a return on equity of 21.6%, well above the target. And we really believe that um, in spite of the fact that the businesses have started a little slow, uh, but they are beginning to show green shoots of hope. And we do believe that over the next couple of years, you, you will see great progress coming through. Victor Tayeboa, NBS, live at nine. Thank you, Victor. Also in business tonight, the Minister of State for Minerals, Peter Lokeriz, has tasked distributor of fuel.